the real estate website that we work on here in San Diego. And if you take a look over here, you can see this is their homepage, by the way. They're stating that in January of 2011, they had 51,339 unique visitors. That's a tremendous amount of traffic. And we're going to take a look and see how they get that traffic. Before we do that, let's see, if you look over here, let me scroll down a little, and you'll see that they have a link right here to their real estate blog. Their real estate blog is a subset. It's attached to their um, uh, main site. It's not separate. And here we go. This is their real estate site that we're looking at over here. A typical WordPress blog. Now let's look at some points that I want to bring to your attention. First of all, every site has a control panel. And what you're looking at now is a control panel for this site, and it's called a C panel. It has all sorts of little icons here for the different information and tools that you can use on the site. If you want to know how to work these tools, you should see something like this, a video tutorial icon. You can go in here and see information on how to use all these tools. But for this video, we're just going to look at this one tool. If we scroll down a little bit over here, you'll see it right here. It's called Webalizer. There are a couple on here, but this is my favorite. And if you click on this right over here, you'll be taken into a statistics page. Here's what it looks like. And now we're looking at the month of uh, January 2011. We went back over here because it's a full month, and we can see total hits. They had 297,330 hits. And pages, well, let's skip pages. Visitors, 51,339, just like the site title said. Now, most people when they're talking about traffic mistakenly quote hits and you could see hits over here is almost 300,000 where visitors is only 50,000 the difference is hits doesn't mean anything and people who are quoting hits to you really really don't know what they're talking about uh, if you have let's say 10 or 20 different graphic op uh, uh, objects on your page when that page loads that'll show 20 hits as each uh, object loads on that page so for one visitor it'll be 20 hits or 30 hits who knows what so this is really irrelevant if you come down over here and you look at the um, at the total visits those are unique visits and what that means if you go to this site and you visit it you'll be counted one time if you go back again a couple hours later you won't you won't be counted you're only counted again after a 24-hour period has elapsed from the first time you visited the site. So this is a true indi indication of how popular sites are. So that's the first thing that I wanted to inform you about. But more importantly, let's scroll down here. There's a lot of information. I should stop here for a minute. Daily statistics. Very powerful uh, statistics here. If you're running an ad, let's say you're a real estate broker, and you're running an ad on the weekend, you put in there, please visit my website. Well, is that ad working as far as people going to your website? Well, you can see visits, hits, uh, unique visits per day. So if you run an ad on certain days, you can see the, gauge the results right over here real quickly. So this is very powerful for that. If you're paying for AdWords for people to visit your site, again, same thing. You can see if it's working for you right over here. Now we're going to scroll down a little more. And down over here, we have uh, the top 250 referrers to the site. And usually, your own site will be in there, so it'll say something like this, direct request or have the site URL, the main URL. And uh, so people went there directly or uh, uh, went to your site from a link linking to the main site. And then that, that would show up right over here as the main URL. 
but what I want to point up to you is the second. The second busiest source of traffic for this site is not only the site name, but you can see the, the uh, backslash over here, and it says broker for you again. That's the blog. So what I'm getting at with this uh, video is that blogs, WordPress blogs, drive a lot of traffic. It's the most important source of traffic for almost any site. So if you don't have a WordPress blog, you should definitely set one up and start using it. Post minimum a couple times a week. If you're really into it, once a day. And you will see a tremendous increase in your traffic and eventually an increase in your uh, standings in the search engines as well. And that's what I wanted to point up to you with this video. It does work, and this is a proof right over here. And uh, if you're interested and you don't know about WordPress, by the way, WordPress is free. It's open source coding. And if we go back to your cPanel over here, there is an installation. You just have to click one of these buttons for installing WordPress. And it's free to install, but it, and right over here you can see where it says Fantastico Deluxe. This installs a number of different things right on your uh, blog. Or, or right on your website. You give it an address, show it where to install it. If you want to know how to do that, and it is relatively simple, we have a great uh, video course that will teach you everything you need to know about WordPress blogs, how to set them up, and how to properly use them to get the most benefit uh, in traffic and sales for your particular blog. So you probably want to, uh, if you want further information on this, you want to check out our site at WebsiteTrafficBuilders.com and you'll see a link on there to our WordPress 101 video course. Appreciate you listening. Thanks.